Welcome back to Coffee Talk. I'm Debbie Crawford. I'm Tina Drake. And we're here to tell you some things that are going on in our community. And one of them is there's going to be a Christmas parade. Yay! There's so, a Christmas parade coming yeah. up and we're so excited. We want you guys to come out. Yeah, it's December the 1st. So if you come out into Madison, Indiana, there's going to be a parade there. And it's called A Very Merry Madison Christmas Parade. And, um, and it'll be, be a, super fun. It will be. And I've already asked the Boys and Girls Club, and they're going to be in it. So we're trying to get our gathered little dancers together, and they're going to be there to entertain you. So there'll yeah. be lots of p things there to entertain oh, you, yeah. though. It's, it is super fun. It's been last year I didn't get to make it because we were in Kansas. Right. And it was fun last year, wasn't it? Yes, it was. But the year before, oh, we had so Yeah, much. the year before she was here, she did a lot mm. of the interviews that we, we had on those. So that was, there'll be interviews again this year. So yeah. we're going to get to see that. And come out and get in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> We're so excited, but we don't want to skip because we know what's coming up next. Thanksgiving right, is around right, right. the corner. So. And we're super excited about Thanksgiving. What are you grateful for? We've been talking about it and yeah. we've kind of been discussing what we're grateful for. And I think Miss Debbie has a great answer. <laughs> well, if you notice, when you say you're grateful for something, most of the time it's family and friends. It is. Your kids, grandkids, or your best friends, or, you know, Tina and I are just like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes somebody called us Mutt and Jeff one day. <laughs> but you got to be really old to understand that one. So, um, anyway, we're, we're usually together a lot, and so we're really thankful for each other and, and our family and friends, but I don't know. I don't know too many people that say, well, I'm really thankful for my car, you know, no. it, or anything else materialistic. Yeah. They might be in Thanksgiving thankful for the food, right? which we've been discussing the funny ways people do Thanksgiving. <laughs> so before we go any further, we want to make sure you understand, if your family can't make it on that particular day, yes. what should they do, Miss Debbie? Well, I'll tell you, a lot of people work in our area, work at NAS and Dalton Steel and Dow Corning, so they work swing shifts. So sometimes their days and nights are different and they're not always off on Thanksgiving so or Christmas. So if you know that, look at your calendar now and figure out when all the family members are off. Right. And there's nothing wrong with celebrating Thanksgiving the weekend before or the weekend after or the day before or the day after. There's nothing at all wrong with that. So, you know, don't try to include all about those it. people. It's not on that particular date. Don't right. feel bad about that. Just enjoy the people right. when you're around them. Right. You know, we've had Thanksgiving. We've had anywhere from 50 people to 30 people, just depending on the year. And we've never had it just on Thanksgiving. Right. And then you do something something a little different than some people do. You actually don't have just family members. So. No, all of my life, <laughs> my mother, we've traveled many places and we've always found people that were kind of gloomy or maybe alone on Thanksgiving right. and we just always invited them. So I was looking yeah. at pictures the other day. My grandmother would always say, all I need to know is how many place <laughs> settings, you know? So now that I take over, or took over Thanksgiving a couple of years ago, I just put it all on the buffet and they just get their food, okay? Get your plate, here's your fork, find your food. But my grandmother was like Miss Debbie <laughs> and so we always had to tell her. But she never minded. She always said we have enough room right. and we'd scoot somebody over and, and add sit another plate. You know, I, I, I just think I appreciate the whole fact that you decorate and you set the table. Well, that I, I just, I don't know, I always, I love to decorate. So when I look at Christmas and, and Thanksgiving. And she's good at it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I learned that too from my grandmother. But if if I'm having everybody over, I, I just like to decorate to show them how much I appreciate them being there. And I like the way it looks. So I always have the little plates in the charger and, you know, everything's in its spot and all that. But now there are some times, maybe we've had Thanksgiving dinner on Thursday. And then some people couldn't make it, so we do it again on Saturday. The Saturday one may just be potato soup and grilled cheese. And we do the same thing. You just find your own stuff. But oh, we had turkey hash. Yeah, see? I don't make turkey hash, but I love it. <laughs> so if you make turkey hash, you're to let me know. All right. So, but anyway, we, we just think it's really neat that if you think about all the family and see who can be there and who can't, and then arrange your schedule around all that. Because those guys at NAS and Gallatin Steel and, you know, that work the swing shift, they want to be included. And they didn't take that job just because... They right. took that job because they need to take care of their family. So you need to... And all your health care providers. Yeah. All your, my mom was a nurse. They're, 
all of my life and it was stressful I mean I love and adore my family and love being together but there were times that it was very yes. stressful on her she would have to drive three hours or wherever oh, we lived my gosh. to make sure we were on that day and so I choose not to do that I choose to allow the traditions to be the family coming together yes and I totally agree with that I understand if those of you that are just accustomed to tradition you know <laughs> and it, you know you always want to think of the tradition that's fine I understand that too but the world is changing and yes. a great deal of things it's a very fast pace seems like yes so sometimes you want to schedule those holidays on a different day so that you can relax and so that you don't have to share I found I've done probably three or four on Saturday oh I know and I have I, more people mm, because they come on that day no and they'll say to me thank you for having this on a Saturday you know and I'm like oh well okay that was just good for me oh, too. I'm telling you when my kids were little I made I made sure everybody knew <laughs> we weren't gonna run to five different dinners on Christmas Day excuse me oh. not happening you know it, that's that's not good for the kids I did that I did I would pack oh, them up we did and travel everywhere and we did for a couple of them then I was like I'm oh, done right you know, you know kids. create new traditions yes. I know when I haven't had Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving I would plan for my Black Friday shopping this right. is before they did any sh kind of shopping on um, Thanksgiving but you know it was really a Black Friday shopping so we would just sit around in our PJs and watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade which is my favorite and and just enjoy being yes. whoever was with me yeah <clears throat> if you're alone find somebody they will invite you over well I know and some people that are alone don't think that they should say something yes you should yes you, because if they don't know you need to give them the opportunity um, it's always better to give than to receive right but if you don't let them know how can they give so you just hindered them from being able to give that's my grandmother oh yeah she would be like <laughs> <laughs> you know our grandparents corners just kind of kind of blend in but yeah. the truth of the matter is when we talk about what we're grateful for I'm grateful for my past with my grandmother yes I'm grateful for everything truly but you know just to think about the little stories or the things that happened yes I don't remember I don't even know why I'm bringing this up but you know I don't remember one gift that I ever got as a child really like a specific this is the best gift ever really but I remember those every moment conversation yes I, do too. I remember the cool air and the wood stove going I remember Thanksgiving being you know yes. just laughter and food and afternoon oh. naps <laughs> love afternoon naps I still love afternoon naps. <laughs> But I, I mean, I, you probably remember a present. Well, I do remember presents, but I don't remember who actually gave them to me. Right. But I'm like you. I remember the times sitting next to my grandmother crocheting or standing at the counter with my mama making bread mm -hmm. and my papa making a joke or, you know, and, and going with my grandfather. Now, this is funny to cut wood. You know, right. he, he taught me how to cut down a tree. I remember that so well because he was really insistent you have to do it just like this or if it falls it could kill somebody well you oh yeah I'm listening now <laughs> so but here's a funny story those. about her so she didn't even know this she was raised on a farm <laughs> so when somebody said you're gonna go out and you're gonna learn to cut a tree today I'm sure that Miss Debbie as a child was like okay I, I did okay was, well here we go <laughs> there we are opposite again. here's the story <laughs> my grandfather and grandmother in Trimble County knew that I was raised in the city and so one year at Thanksgiving my grandfather said we're gonna cut a real tree now I had been through a real tree experience because my right. mother was from the country right. and she wanted that as a child but this particular year my grandmother thought and grandfather thought that it would be funny to take me out in the field and an hour later of complaining he had already cut the tree and I was not happy <laughs> And I said, you made me walk in the cold. I'm in coveralls. I was not dressed up like I had normally. Okay. So I'm telling on myself, but the truth of the matter is I've never forgot the experience it's with him. Yeah. With him. Yeah. And I would bring it back tomorrow. You know what I mean? And I was, I was a little grouchy child. I was very whiny. Oh my. I don't. I don't oh, remember I remember mean, being. I even had a drag. I mean, I was like, I'm not touching that tree limb. I'm not doing that. <laughs> My grandfather said, Oh, yes, you are. I didn't make you cut it down. I, did, I just had it all picked out. I said, Well, you shouldn't have walked us around so long. I'm really tired now. 
<laughs> she's okay. Sorry. She's a, she just says what she thinks. Yeah. yeah so. We got and I, it hasn't changed. I was probably nope. nine then. So just so you know, uh, but it was still a memory, right? And when I say I haven't remembered any presents, my mom's probably going to watch this and go, really? <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the times I spent struggling trying to find something, but you do. Yeah. You I mean, I remember an impression on the people yeah. by the actions that you would yes. like to do. Yes. And I'm like you, when, when my grandparents on Thanksgiving or Christmas, you know, when we spent the night or whatever, they were cooking, that I really remember because everybody was in the kitchen. Not just, not just the girls or the women, but everybody was in the kitchen cooking. Yes. So I just I really like that I do, and I like playing games. I know some people. Oh, we do too. Some we people love to wanna, play cards. Yeah, some people want to eat and go lay down. I can't do that. Oh, I can. I can't. I can't. Okay, I can do that. I can't. But I love to play games too. I mean, you know, I nap, play games. Yeah. I remember this working at the movie theater. Right. Did you know one of the busiest times at the movie theater was Thanksgiving night? Yes. And honestly, it was kind of fun. Like, I actually took my kids after a while, you know, when I quit working in the movie right. theater. I was like, this isn't too bad. But, you know, do what you want to do, but make sure you're happy when you're doing it. Yeah, definitely. And You know, if you it know, stresses you too much, yeah. find somebody else's house to go to. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, we have Christmas coming up, too. <clears throat> right. Know? So, the big thing there is we want you to think about is some people have big expectations, and we, we're worried about... You know, there's some people get gloomy, some people get down, you know, a little, it's really stressful for others. But during Thanksgiving, we'd like you to just look around the table and say, they're struggling. Maybe Christmas shouldn't be quite as what it is. They're struggling. Well, they're building a new house. Well, they've had a new baby. Well, maybe draw names for Christmas. Right. Or do the, what is it called, the white elephant Christmas? It's like a gag something. I don't yeah. know. I don't know all of those. Yeah. But. And, or take up a collection and give it to Boys and Girls Club or Girls Inc. or, or to another nonprofit or even a family. Right. You know, we were talking earlier, the family that we figured out didn't have heat and we didn't know it when we donated the money. Two weeks, they had been out of heat for two weeks. They had no fuel to heat the house. So they spent that money to fill the tank. But they still didn't have money for food because right. the mother and father had both been laid off. So that was a big issue. And nobody, <clears throat> truly, people do have pride. It doesn't oh, matter what yeah, they didn't want to ask. income you're at. Right. I mean, I know I have been there. Everybody has been there. Oh, everybody yeah. started out their marriage, probably. Not everybody, <laughs> but well, in my world. There's always an issue. Somebody, right. In my world, we started like everybody else you know we mm -hmm. started with what we had and we worked a lot a great deal and put the money back and right. paid our bills and so when Christmas came sometimes it wasn't as jolly for us parents there were times that I was like you know make sure this person has this and this person has that and I learned early on even though I did all the Christmas presents and even though I loved Black Friday shopping for fun I do not do it now but I will not tell you why <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why listen America Mm -mm. Stop the shopping thing on Thursday. That's Thanksgiving. I don't care if you're not having Thanksgiving on that day. Plan your shopping spree for Friday. Okay, we're done. <laughs> if she cuts that out, that's fine, but I'm still telling you guys. I'm probably not going to cut it out. <laughs> so, but I did all the shopping yeah. things, and I remember being a little stressed. But as the years came, the more I taught my children, the more I would say, you're going to get presents. Right. You are. Because we do have and we can give you but you are to always find somebody that's less fortunate than you and give, give them back. a present yes and my goal was they were never ever to tell the person where it came from right so we would go around <clears throat> oh now I am gonna cry <laughs> <laughs> so what we're asking you to do at Thanksgiving is look around the table if the family's stressing, you know, if there's 35 family members, think about that. That person's got to buy 35 gifts. Right. I, I really, really and truly, I don't, it doesn't matter to me whether you got a lot of money or not. I think 35 gifts to buy for is a little much. Well, and how many gifts do you and, find for $5 well, that somebody can brag about? Exactly. So, you know, look around the table. Maybe draw names this year. Maybe take up a collection and give it to somebody. Maybe just um, not buy gifts at all. Maybe go volunteer somewhere. Right. We'd love to have you as mentors, by the way. So <laughs> yeah, if you're in this area, we've got plenty of places for you to be. <laughs> we, we can find something for you to do. But, I mean, just give it a little thought. You know, maybe not do all that. And 
with the people that are working the swing shifts try to schedule those dinners around those swing shifts and you know if you have to have it on a different day than Thanksgiving then what nothing wrong it's with okay. that yeah have your Thanksgiving dinner right and if you have to have two well we've I've done I had five one year I'm I mean, just in order to you get had five different dinners, five different dinners for five I've different parts that. of the family. <laughs> yeah, and so, but you know, I told Amanda she's had her leg surgery, you know, and she's worried about being tired and having Christmas and Thanksgiving. And I said, hey, we can have potato we'll soup it. and grilled right. cheese. I'm good with that. We will pull together. Exactly. You just, I would just suggest try to create less stress for the holidays this year. That would be my right. My thing. Yeah. We've had, we've had a great year. I think so. <laughs> and we've had a great deal of changes, you know. And, Gosh, yeah. And we were talking about just what changes do you appreciate instead of talking about all the bad? Okay, oh, we yeah. know there's already bad. There's always you gotta, bad. You got to keep track of the good. I think. Right. I mean, years now, and years do, ago, we're different though. <laughs> right? Years and years ago, you know, they were all talking about, and this is no, this is the truth on the news. They were talking about you know how bad the politicians were then and this was years ago before right. I even knew what the word meant you know right. so don't try to focus on the bad but focus on what makes you glad find that connection with life yes wherever you are make it happy <laughs> and then what happens is those happy people start coming to you all the time you know so makes a big difference if you do that so. it really does so what about grandparents corner this <laughs> week we've well, talked a lot about grandparents but yeah, we're gonna do it yeah. so what, what, when we're talking about the grandparents corner I think we were talking about earlier how the grandkids focus on what we say and do during Christmas and Thanksgiving we can make it stressful for them even you know I know I like to decorate and I like the plate and the charger and all that stuff that can be really stressful for a four-year-old and I have a four-year-old a three-year-old grandchild and so I don't I don't think that's good for them me I now you can do whatever you want but I just for my side I just think for the for the grandchildren that are young we might have dessert in the little cups with the feet you know and the my granddaughter's calling the dancing cups she has so. beautiful dancing cups <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have we'll have coffee and dessert in the fancy cups and the fancy saucers for them but you know my grandsons they're 16 13 and 14 well they're big enough they're gonna set the table and that's gonna be their job they'll set the table and make it look nice but I think that's because I want them to be able to walk into the White House if they ever want to be an intern there and they may never do that but if they do they'll know which fork to use which spoon to use if it's a soup spoon it's at the top then you know they would not know that right if they didn't have them set the table at least two or three times a year <laughs> wish it could be more but the right way sure so I think if you you have to think as a grandparent what can I do to prepare them for later? What can I do to give them success later? Right. So there's just little things. And when they're talking at the table, come up with what, you know, whatever they're talking about. Try to find a positive spin on what they're talking about. So, you know, this just came to my mind. Um, my grandmother always said this every, every time I was with her. And I now know what it means. And you just brought it out. And she always said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all yes do you know that we lived by that at our holidays yes I am I've sat and thought and reflected I've looked at pictures and like I said we invited everybody yes I mean we really did I mean there were times we had to get an extra table out and put a whole new <laughs> setting on mom I can remember my mom saying well you can use my china because my grandmother was like you I am not like that <laughs> She is much better than me. No, I'm I not. do cook. No, I'm, not. I'm a very good cook. <laughs> but I don't have grandchildren yet, so my children already know if you're coming to Thanksgiving, you can bring whoever you want, and I won't have to have a place setting for them because I don't have place settings. But she has to know the numbers, so she has enough plates. So I do have, have to know the number, so and I also have to have enough food. My right. kids always laugh at me because of that. They always say, You are so funny because you always worry, and then next, you know, <laughs> the next day I'm sending food home. Like, where That's do you okay. want That's <laughs> okay. I'd much rather do that than not have enough food. Yeah, right. That right. I couldn't. But, you know, if you keep that in mind, every time that you speak you know I, I think you would really change your entire life well you know I had a, I had an instructor one time it was Dr. Ashida and he was my judo instructor and he's from Japan now he's passed away 
but he would always say you live life as if one foot's in the grave and the other is soon to follow right and that will make you change what you say and what you do and when you do it it is and it really yes. does if you wake up every morning and go I could be gone by tonight what do I need to do oh boy you it's different so you become a lot you I've actually done that and you you become more grateful for the tiny <laughs> things in this world yeah I know Amanda's going through that right now yeah. and I, I keep her on my list and think about her all the time but you know when you're down yeah you know and I think that's what we keep talking about is the Thanksgiving if if you are down this year and you aren't gonna get to go to a Thanksgiving dinner right. we hope that we're bringing you at least some laughter <laughs> you know I'm always saying something I mean there's times probably when she watches these and edits and goes <laughs> I don't know if I can leave that in there or not but she always does so <laughs> well usually I do yeah, yeah but we we want you to be happy where you're at right and grateful for the tiny things yes. and the big things you know it's not always it's not always how much you have it's my my grandmother put it this way we went to a funeral one time and there weren't very many people there and I said where's all of all their friends and grandmother said you know your life is not judged on how much you love others it's how much it's judged on how much others love you oh wow so now when you think about the one foot in the grave and the other soon to follow and how much other people love you is what I'm I hate to tell you but when I was a kid I was always thinking cause my grandparents were always putting that stuff in there and I'm like oh my gosh am I doing okay am I doing okay right <laughs> you need some kind of measurement yeah. but you didn't have that right. you had to go by what felt better right and I think that's where it comes from the mentoring for you and I we were always taught mm -hmm. you know your life is really judged by how much others love you so if I'm not giving back how can they care about me right so that that's where Tina and I end up we mentor a lot yes. but, but we think it's important because if people don't care about us that means we're not caring about others you're right and so we just we're that we're goes little, in that whole law of attraction I know. Again. okay we're, we are talking about that we're a little different <laughs> our live love section you know guys I'm all about the live all about the love we're talking about the sadness in right. the world gloomy melancholy you know and, you know when you feel down yeah I know this sounds crazy but I teach people that one word can change your entire day it can and it I call it your happy word and I have had the funniest happy word my I know you guys have heard it but it was two words it was bubble butt I've changed it uh, to bubbles but the only reason I did that was to help other people because try it right now I'm gonna let miss she didn't know I was gonna do this I'm gonna let her try right now just try to say put a straight face and say bubble and just say bubbles without grinning bubbles <laughs> She's like, I was really trying not to. <laughs> you know, there is, um, I did not come up with this, and I cannot quote the person that did. It was at a seminar that I was at, but I do want you to know there are five letter words yes. that's universal, and it is the most pleasing five letter word in the world. Does anybody know what it is? Go ahead. S M I L E. If you smile, you always get a smile back oh that's true yes and it is the most <clears throat> pleasing five letter word in the world and it was actually somebody else that quoted that so if you want to look it up type it in he's he's a, I think he's I'm not sure I would be afraid to tell you but it was at a seminar that right. I went to and it changed my perspective because I thought one word smile yes and I thought one other word just whatever it is right now my word I'm sorry it has to be <laughs> unicorn bubbles I, I I'm gonna add the unicorn in there because I like two words I don't know but bubbles is my main word for right now just for you guys so if you want to change your vibration if you're feeling kind of and you're thinking of all the bad in the world trust me this too shall pass yep it good or bad will pass yes and all you need to remember is just sometimes say a happy word or Smile. Now, you know if you smile it releases endorphins oh it makes you feel great so I mean I stand in front of the mirror and do it sometimes I like <laughs> even when I don't feel like it I'm like Ugh, just keep it going you know I used to teach when I would taught school and, and in the classroom every day I would have a moment of somebody talking or being disrespectful you know, and I would say excuse me are you being disrespectful 
And they would all go, that is so creepy. <laughs> but do you know that that smile reset the tone? Right. All of a sudden, they recognized they weren't in the right. Right. And they stopped. I never had, I don't remember ever having to really yell. Like, I, I don't either. Funny. I, I know I know I did sometimes when they were too far away to hear me but right and I, I think kids I think kids will react sure to what they you know if you always have a normal tone even yeah. though there's a consequence afterwards they learn to listen right they don't they don't wait for that yell <laughs> they, they learn my, to listen my favorite author you know so. I have several authors but Jack Canfield always says you know whatever the event is plus your reaction equals the outcome oh yes mm, I love a big that. thought right yep, yep, yep. <laughs> So. We hope that you guys have enjoyed this, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you, and we love that you're watching, and we love our sponsors. Oh, the sponsors are amazing. We really do love them. So we want you just to remember this year, make the holidays a little less stressful in some way. Sure. Just some way. Make them a take little a stressful. Take a little break. Yeah. You know, take a little step off. If you've got all those bricks on your shoulders, <laughs> take one off and set yeah. it over. Somebody else can take care of that. That's right. It really does happen. Don't forget us. December 1st, come out and wave and I'll smile and wave real big and I know Miss Debbie will be there interviewing and yeah. I'll try to help her out when I'm not dealing with my cute little dancers. <laughs> so, as always, we appreciate you watching. Sponsored in part by Chandler Chevrolet, 600 Clifty Drive, Madison, Indiana. Madison Power Equipment, 5427 North State Road 7, Madison, Indiana. Searcy Monument, 180 West J. Loudon Road, Carrollton, Kentucky. Brenda's Accounting and Tax Service, 119 East 3rd Street, Madison, Indiana.